hello guys in this video i am going to do the demonstration shown in sublime text website uh, by looking at the six slide i was not able to understand what it was actually doing so i searched in the website like stack overflow to find out how it works so if you are the person who are not able to make out just by directly looking from this demonstration then this video is for you for sublime text i am using this rollup cloud provider if you click on this launch online button you will get a browser window and you can use all the functionality provided by sublime text 3 right from this browser you don't have to download it um, if you want you can download it uh, so that you can use it in uh, offline version so this is only as an online version so let's go through the slides and let's see how to do by ourselves the, the first one is uh, multi select so many claim that this is a cool feature in uh, sublime text so this is available in sublime 3 as well so what i am running here is a sublime text 3 so let's say i have three variables where one where two where three now i let's say i want to uh, change the name as starting with the a in that case what we need to do is uh, press the control D so that's what given here control D is used so if I press control D it will select the whole whole word so now uh, you need to move the cursor one step behind so now it's like just VAR if I uh, press control D again it will search for the next occurrences let's see what it does I am pressing control D now so if you see here it has now gone to the second line because it find the occurrences like VAR. Now let's press again Control D, right? So this is the thing they have explained it here. So now uh, if I want to add in front of this V, just press the left arrow one, then you can add any word. So this is the uh, functionality which is shown in the first slide. Now moving on to the second one. So the next slide given here is uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay. So actually from the beginning I was thinking that it is giving us a sequence. But it's actually not. Uh, actually it's manually hard typed. You need to type this but what they have demonstrated here is adding the double quotes and uh, adding a comma and then flipping from vertical to horizontal that's what they have shown here if you see closely they are not doing anything like a sequence which we uh, usually do in excel in excel if you first write monday and if you drag down it will automatically give you the sequence but it's not actually doing this here let's see what actually it does in that demonstration Okay, so these are the values initially present. Now, what they have mentioned here is here Control Shift L is used to split a selection into lines. So, uh, split a selection into lines which means first you have to select all this value, and then you have to press Control Shift L. Now, you need to uh, do the way which uh, we done in previous uh, demonstration. Like you can press arrow to move forward and backward I am now pressing right arrow so here I am giving quotes and then I am moving back again giving quotes I am just doing arrow no other than that anything now I am pressing the comma okay so to flip from uh, it's now in vertical position to flip to horizontal I am pressing ctrl J so this is what they are doing now you just need to press escape and you will get a single this uh, cursor and you can do this boxes so these are the manual thing I think anybody can understand that moving on to next demonstration this is just uh, 
this is straight forward this and fourth and fifth this uh, three slides are straight forward anybody can uh, understand just by reading this one and the sixth one is regular expression so if you uh, read this what they are trying to find is uh, double spaces okay uh, if I say a space B is different from a space space B so in order to find this one you need to press ctrl F and you need to press this button this is a regular expression it's already selected so you can see this is a faded out and you need to give space and then plus and find so it shows that this plus is nothing but a regular expression uh, it says one or more occurrence of the previous value so that's all guys that's what i want to show you in this video thanks for watching this video